like a bit not clear because of the dead leaves it's holding the soil from going down there. Let's do the last one. You see when I pour the water it's very clear like the water we drink because of the grass. The grasses roots were holding the soil very tight so none of the soil could go in this cup so i hope you understood the importance of growing trees shrubs and grass and you can prevent soil erosion if you do that we can save our planet thank you good morning everyone today we will talk about the preventions of soil erosion and beach erosion let us start with soil erosion Number one, afforestation. Planting new trees and plants is afforestation. We live because plants live. If plants die, all living things will also die. Thus, if trees are cut down, more trees should be planted. Planting trees in hilly areas are most effective for conservation. Number two, building dams. A dam is a large wall that stops the flow of water. Dams can prevent floods and a flood can damage crops and also wash away the topsoil. Moving on to beach erosion. This usually occurs by natural phenomena and get worsened by human activities. The natural causes of beach erosion like pounding and bending of waves have a minor impact. Have you ever seen waves crashing on rocks? I have seen some at Crete in Mauritius. Human activities have caused major problems. Sand has been removed from the sea for construction purposes. More people have started to live in coastal regions. Thus, water pollution has increased. Effects of beach erosion Landward shifting of the shoreline Risk of coastal flooding, loss of land, damage to buildings and agricultural land. Lots of damage is also done to chorus affecting our marine life. Mauritius is well known by tourists for its beaches. Unfortunately, we have beach erosion in flick on flack and in the north. Sadly, this affects the people who live along the coastal areas and is a threat to the tourism industry. Coastal erosion is the wash away of our beautiful beaches. In this experiment, I'll show you how our beaches are wash away due to the lack of vegetation. Waves hit hard and destroy the coast to produce the rocky beaches and the very deep lagoon. On to the prevention of beach erosion. Number one, natural resources. A living shoreline will always help you. Try planting as many as seaweeds you can to create a natural environment so that all the sea creatures can be attracted to it. More life means less chance of erosion. Number two, vegetation. Vegetation also stops so beach erosion. The roots that the plants put down into the sand makes dune stronger. A dune is a large mass of wind-blown sand. These are the methods of preventing soil erosion and beach erosion. Thank you.
finally, I would like to say that it is very important to conserve soil and we must do anything to prevent soil and beach erosion. We should conserve soil as vegetation depends only on soil. If we allow soil erosion, it will lead to many problems such as deforestation. It is also important to prevent beach erosion as it is the cause of several environmental problems like destroying the habitat of many birds and animals. Thank you.